Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Welcome to part three of a series of videos in which I will cover the features of some additionally bundled mods in my quality of life mod for the game Icarus First Cohort. We're going to showcase the use and features of these specific mods playing Icarus in local mode, that is not on a dedicated server, with a character embarking on a new mission. I've started this new mission with my modified Zygo S5 II Enviro suit, uh, along with Pete's starter loadout kit and Pete's starter cabin kit. I detailed some aspects of these items in my part two video, which unbundled with all the needed gear and housing parts gets you started on the mission. First thing we're going to look at is the custom options mod by Jim K72. This mod is bundled in my quality of life mod and you activate it by making sure your fists are equipped in the lower right of the screen. You can do this by hitting the hands key, which is the H on your keyboard. Right mouse click when you see the hands and you'll see the interface pop open. You can select different jump heights and jump options to see what best suits your needs. My preference is the 900 jump and triple jump option as you get some good height when jumping over obstacles. The base mod will protect you from fall damage, so you can feel the exhilaration of jumping off that cliff you always wanted to. The other option um, in this interface I use a lot is the return to drop ship and leave. It's especially useful if your ship is um, halfway across the map, as this gets your character out of the drop immediately no matter where you are. The rest are pretty um, self-explanatory, but be sure to check out my known bugs issue section of the readme file on my GitHub page for any deficiencies or restrictions when using this interface. The next mod we're going to look at is the embedded teleporter mod created by Jim K72. In my opinion, one of the best mods ever produced for this game. It's basically a fast travel mod and works for all players in single or multiplayer mode. The teleporter bundle kit is uh, bundled inside the Pete's starter loadout kit, and this is how it works. Right click on each teleporter kit and consume them. You get two of them with my uh, starter loadout kit. Each kit further bundles into two items, the remote control device and the teleporter pad. Place one of the remote control devices into one of your quick key slots, and the other can be a spare or be given to another player. The teleporter pad needs to be placed on a floor of some kind. The pad is immune to weather, but your floors may not be. So I would recommend a stone or concrete floor uh, that can withstand normal weather effects, unless you're running my no, no weather mod, in which case any kind of floor will do. Build your floor and deploy the pad. I usually place the pad somewhere on my base and then note the red color of the pad, which means a remote location has not been identified yet. Now let's go mining and see how this works. After you load up with resources at the mine and activate the remote on your hotbar, you left mouse click to be transported back to the first pad you placed. I call this the home pad. If you're relatively close to the home pad's teleporter base, you'll almost be instantly transported back to your base. Otherwise, if you're a little bit further out, you'll see the preparing geometry message um, will show as it reloads the map. Uh, you will see when you step off the pad, the light on the pad will go green, indicating that there's now an active link to another uh, remote location place on the map where you teleported from. If I walk over the teleporter now, I will be transported back to that remembered location at the mine I just came from. The, rem the remembering of the remote location is only maintained during your current session. When you exit to the character selection screen and return to the mission later, this remembered location is lost as indicated by the red light on the teleporter pad. You might be asking, well, what do we do with the second teleporter pad? Well, let's say you want to maintain a location to teleport to um, even after you return to the character selection screen. For example, if you want to save a quick way to get to the desert or visit a friend's base across the map. Uh, you still have to run to that destination, no, no way around that, but bring a floor piece and the second teleport pad with you, and once you reach your destination, deploy the second pad. With the remote activated on your hotbar, a right mouse click will teleport you to this pad. Let's test this out by first going back to my home pad, which is a left mouse click, 
and we wait for the geometry to kick in and then once I've gotten back to the um, the home pad um, I'm going to now go back to the second location uh, a right mouse click and there we go each teleport pad remembers its own remote teleport location you came from which it sends you to when you walk over the pad as long as the pad's light is green signaling that this remote location has been remembered this means that in a two-player game each of you can travel from your own location uh, to your own base and then back to an independent remembered location uh, you can freely pick up and deploy the teleporter pads at any time um, in any location on the map but remember if you pick up the first teleporter pad with a second teleporter pad already deployed the left mouse action will now send you to the second teleport pad location and vice versa the last thing to showcase for you is the clear photo lens mod also by Jim K72 this was a special mod I requested from Jim which allows me to take uh, clear camera flyby videos for my YouTube presentations of some of my favorite bases uh, normally you enter the photo mode by hitting the numpad 8 key on the keyboard which without this mod you will it'll give you a camera mode that looks something like this it has this camera reticle in the middle of the screen along with uh, the menu keys down below and a very limited third person perspective as you can see when I you know that I can only move so far from the player with the new clear photo lens mod it gives you a nice clear screen image of your base, allows um, faster camera movement and much further range uh, from the player. Use the left alt key to bring up the camera adjustments so you can change the speed of your camera movement. And also uh, use the movement keys to go left and right along with the control key to go down and the space bar to go up. Well, that's it for part three video. I hope you found this useful in explaining um, all the aspects of the quality of life mod. Uh, may it bring you hours of enjoyment in the game. Thanks for watching folks, until next time.